One of the stories about seeing angels is that uh, your guardian angel is about um, you get a sign, is that right? Um, well, every, every single person has a guardian angel and yeah. I see your guardian angel right there and yours. And of yeah. course, when I look out at Who's the Jerry's? cameraman... Yeah. What does Jerry's look like? Well, we want to be open <laughs> about this. I, I, I'm going to be honest, I feel a little bit sceptical, but I'm o open. I, I, I yeah. think it's fine to yeah. feel sceptic because yeah. you're, you're searching and yeah. I heard already you were given a sign anyway. Okay, we'll talk about that in book, a minute, it's weird. Um, but your guardian angel... You know, even when I was sitting over there and just looking across at you. So you can see you. my angel right I now? I see your guardian angel right, what right it, there behind you. What does it look like? Um, he or she? They are neither male or female, oh. but it is giving a female appearance today. OK. And it's, it's dressed in this beautiful red, just a glowing, glowing red, like a, a flowing gown. Like your outfit with... at the Brit. Oh wow! You know, red sparkly. Dress. I don't know. Well, there's no sparkles oh, on it, but okay. it's, not, it's, it's, it's rimmed with with gold. Everywhere yeah. is rimmed with gold. So I've gold. got a good one. And you were. I want to have a good positive. one. Your guardian angel is pushing you forward. It has its hands like this at the back. These huge golden hands pushing you forward. Oh really? And I could I... tell you no, loads, but I won't. <laughs> a lot, a lot of show. people. I mean, when we talk about guardian angels, and and I'll, I'll be open. You know, I've seen psychics before, and they've, they've said, you know, there's a guy with me who, you know, looking over me, and they always try and link it to someone that's passed, sort of from yeah. my family yeah. or or a friend or something yeah. like that. Is is our guardian angels sort of a relative that we've lost? No, no. Your guardian angel is is an angel. It's it's not a soul like you you and me. Um, I used to feel embarrassed when I had to used to say it the first time on, on stage is that your guardian angel is a creature created by God long, long ago. They were the words I was given to, to use. So it's not a relative, but one thing the angels love is when we say our loved one is our guardian angel or is an angel beside us, because that's an expression of love. Yeah. And they don't object to that. They don't object to anything, like which is amazing. And they're constantly giving us signs. And I, I suppose in, in Angels in My Hair was the first time yeah, letting people know. Yeah. And, and now, you know, Angels at My Fingertips, I'm sharing more of those, those secrets to help people all over the world, all ages, even children. Yeah, what's the benefit of having an angel? Um, I think the really big benefit is that you know that you're never alone. Mm -hmm. You know that no matter what's, what you're going through in life, good or bad or, or full of joy, or when you're nervous or anxious, that your yeah. guardian angel is, is there. And you know your guardian angel will help you to hold it together. How do they help you? Um, I think it's the They the warn way they, you, I read in your they, book. They warn you. Yeah. They, if, if there is something negative going on in your life, yeah. they will give you signs. And, and it's up to you to recognise them. But they do everything possible to help you to recognise them. Yeah. The one sign can be falling in front of you a hundred times. I've got to say, you talk about signs. The last time that you were on, when me and Phil were hosting, yeah. my mum called me straight, literally, in the break afterwards, going, as we were talking to you, a feather yeah. dropped outside the window. And I was like, Mum, what are you going on about? Someone would have noticed it. But I did watch it back and it did. And, and you saw it. Well... And, and, and my mum spotted yeah. it and she called up because she was yeah. obviously watching the show. Is, is everyone... A lot of people do say that a feather is, is, is the a sign. The feather is the most common because it's the easiest one for the angels to give us. You know, because if your guardian angel is asking you to give a sign to someone else, it yeah. could be just to say a kind word. Yeah. Or it could be to make that phone call. Yeah. Or, or, or give somebody a book. It could be something like that. And you don't realise it's, it's a sign for them. It's, it's to give them hope. Um, lots of the times, when that talk comes into your mind, you say, ah, I couldn't be bothered, I'm too busy, mm. like... OK. Well, I can share this. It's a bit weird. Right, so I started reading yes, your please. book when you were coming on, yeah. and obviously I got told that the sign is a feather, and you meant to call out to your guardian angel. So I was like, OK, guardian angel, are you there? So I went upstairs to make the bed, right, and then I saw on the windowsill, windowsill, a feather. I was like, OK, that's a bit weird. But then I thought, oh, could it have come from the pillow? Or a pigeon. <laughs> is only a little white feather. Is that what it is? Well, it is usually a little, little white, but it can be any colour. It depends on what part of the world you're, you're okay. in. Okay. But you have to say to yourself, have you ever seen the feather before on your windowsill? That's how you know. It, it, you, you. Dun, dun, dun. No, you haven't. It, it was a sign, a sign for you. 
about loads of yeah. good and positive things that are happening for you. You said in your book, it was the first book that I was reading, um, was about that we're all made of, you know, we're all the same. I thought that was yes. really nice, no, that no we, matter whether yeah. you're Muslim, yeah. Christian, the idea of your philosophy is that we're all, we're all just souls. And, yeah. you know, and these angels are just yeah. reminding us that. And we yeah. need it more than ever. Is that I, I to think, be kind to each other? I is think, that the point? I think today, yes. I, I guess that's why God encouraged me to write yeah. the, the first book, Angels in My Hair. Yeah. But we need hope today. And, and yeah. young people need to know that they have a guardian angel, mm. that, that they're not alone. There's so many negative and yeah. bad things happen in the, in the world. We, and it does we need bring to put comfort. More. It does. It, it does bring comfort. comfort. And, and it puts love out into the world. It, knowing you have a guardian angel and, and even recognising a sign for the first time yeah. helps you to be a kinder person a more loving person, not to judge, to reach out and help. Yeah. And we can see that happening in, in the world today with all the negative, horrible things yeah. happening.